It's Thursday. P-G-I-H-H. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. All right, we're going to move away from the fruit beers, and we're going to get into some uh, Gilda beers. We have been to the Gilda Brewery here in uh, in Charlotte. It's mm-hmm. also, is it like the oldest brewery ever or something? Something like that. Something like that. We got a few a few that I found at, uh, at Total Wine. Um, the tea easy. All right, we're going to do this one first. Ah, it is their spring bock. I like that it has this goat on it. Yeah, that goat is festive yes. and ready to party. It's got a flower crown, crown on it. Charlotte brewed. So this one is brewed in Charlotte, actually. So it's mm-hmm. not brewed at the Gilda Brewery over in Germany. Germany? Yeah. 1546. I'd say they've been brewing beer for a long time. For a hot minute. We did their Red Rooster, and we've done their Pilsner, mm-hmm. and they've had a lot of other beers since yes. then. It is a 7.5 percenter. Uh, it is their Springbok. Charlotte brewed in accordance with the German purity law. What is that? Farfignugan or something? Whatever. Reisgenhauten? Sauerkrauten? I don't know. Something. I like sauerkraut. Is there a spiel on this? No. Nope. No? Barley malt? Whatever. I know there's a word for it, but it always escapes me when I'm doing these. When I'm doing these. Uh, I think it does start videos. with the R, though. With the cork. Would you stop? You don't it's need these. Freaking out. Freaking out. Oh, my God. Oscar, chill the fuck out, man. I can't chill. I need to be on the lap. All right, it has a nice golden hue to it. Mm-hmm. That's a professional pour, I gotta tell you. I saw that eye roll. Good. Be a hater. I rolled pretty fucking loud. Yeah, no shit. All right, you can get in on that. It's summertime, but this is a spring bock, so. Yeah, it's know. got kind of a honey wheat smell to it. Honey wheat? Like honey wheat pretzels? I do like those. It's got more bitterness than you would expect. Not unpleasant, though. Not a. Puckery bitterness, but just no, it's good. Um, yeah, but you taste there that, is some bitterness. You taste that honey in that wheat, but Little it's not bit. a sweet beer at not all. Not a sweet beer. You get sweetness on the on the back sure. end. Sure, I think it's pretty well balanced, and I don't know that you would want to have more than one in a sitting because it's a pretty. We've had some flavor. other spring box. We had a whole keg of the uh, OMB. They call it Bach Party now, but it's mm-hmm. their spring box, and that was a lot lighter than this. This has. Qu- Quite a bit of flavor to it, and it's a seven and a half percent. I think that other one was lighter than that. This, this is. Um, I this, like it. I like it, but it tastes like. Um, it tastes more like fall beer to me. Yeah, like it's Sam, like, Ad- like an Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest. or a, like Sam Adams Winter, although it's mm-hmm. like a light, lighter version of that. It's nice though. And it's good, very drinkable. I do like the bitterness actually. Usually, I'm not a bitter beer person, but this one's pretty it's decent. A beer. So, all right. That's pretty good. It is available. I don't know where it's available outside of the Charlotte area, really. So, you know, this one's specifically brewed in Charlotte. Um, I don't know if they get this overseas or not. So it is Gilda Springbok. Look at the goat on that. Is that a goat or a ram? That's 100% a goat. Goat. It's the goat. So It is good. Yeah, if you're in the Charlotte area, you'll be able to find it. Otherwise, I don't know if you'll be able to find this at all. I am so. the goat. It's a lovely goat. Lady of Lady of Lay. Anyway. We're going to roll right along with another Gilda beer in a second. Unless, we'll be, less yodeling this time. Well, we might lose some followers if there's less yodeling. We'll be right. 